Susan, is that you? Susan? Where are you? Where are you? At the Carlisle Casino. What are you doing there? And who's Susan? Who's this? It's Blair. <clears throat> uh, you got the wrong number. Walker. Well, I recognize your voice, Walker. I know that... Walker, damn it! <sighs> Manning, it's Slim. Call me as soon as you get this. And when you do, ID yourself. Seems I have to scream my call. You've blown it for the last time. You getting off to Vegas? Hmm? Just don't let Blair catch you. She thinks your double life is over. Where do you get this stuff? Cable TV? Off from the PI I hired. Remember her? Mm hmm. And your wife wanted you to fire. Oh, I did. Right after she got me the information that you've been lying since you got here. Hmm. Well, Blair and I burned that information. Uh, didn't this conversation already take place? Oh, maybe you weren't listening. <laughs> Talk about two timing. How about this? The lieutenant governor is fooling around with his wife's cousin. Look, I just don't want to see Blair get hurt. Back off. Look, just don't pour another Todd Manning on her. She couldn't take that. What were you doing with that creep? Oh, forget him. I've got a couple. I can't wait to see Mom's face. We should see a sister of her height. Oh, wait, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Was that her? That's not her. Uh, That's not her. That's her. Oh, hey! Hi, I'm not interrupting. Oh, no, please do. I'm drawing a total blank for Sunday. So, how'd your meeting with the choir director go? Well, he asked me to sing, I did, and he said he liked me. <laughs> He'd be crazy not to. Is that what took you so long? No, actually, I was, uh, I was in the old vestry room for a while. What were you doing in there? How could you stand the mess? It's not a mess anymore. I cleaned it all up for you. I updated the files. I put them away. Marcy, you shouldn't have done that. Well, I'm sorry. I, I'll no. ask first next time, I promise. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's... I don't want you to feel like you have to do things for me. Well, but you and Jen are doing so much for me. That's because we're your friends. We don't want you to be alone now. Yeah, well, I never thought I'd have to be alone again. You know, I thought me and Al, we'd have it all. The kids, the dog. The wash of the dryer, the backyard with a grill. <laughs> but if we can't, well, you and Jen should. Well, I don't know about the grill, but definitely the kids. <laughs> Lots of kids. <laughs> you okay? Doctor said it was a spontaneous miscarriage. I'm not gonna have Joe's baby. Sorry. I said I came to make a statement. Hi, 
I knew you'd come through, R.J. R.J.? Why are you here? To make things right. You don't know why I came. Well, if what I heard is true, uh, you're looking at uh, tampering with the crime scene, planning evidence, destroying evidence, bribing a witness, perjury. Oh, that's just a short list. Look, I'm not here to talk to you. Nora. Alone? Mmm, they smell so good. They're so pretty. Thank you, Star. You're welcome. We wanted to make this trip especially special for you. <laughs> we? Well, me and my... Uh, me and Walker. Yes, hi. hi. I'm Walker. Are you the man who's going to marry my daughter? That's right. You remind me of someone. I can't remember who. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that I was, uh... I was born in a, it was, uh, in a crowded gene pool. Oh, you like to swim. So, so does Blair and Todd. And Mom, oh, that Mom, she's going to be really surprised that you're here. Yeah, that's why we brought you I up I mean, here. she's going to be so happy to see you. I want Blair to be happy. She will. <laughs> she will be. I love her. I'm going to make sure she's happy. How could you do this to me? How could Walker do this? Honey, maybe you're mistaken. Maybe it wasn't Walker. I on was the not phone. mistaken. I recognized his voice, Dorian. And, and it was on that telephone number in Las Vegas, and it's, that's a whole bunch of stuff that Kevin got together for, for me to look at Walker's file. I don't. In Vegas. You Walker are not said, making any Walker sense. said that he was giving up that life. What's he doing in Vegas? Maybe. You said at one point he, he said he had to tie up some loose ends. Well, why didn't he tell me about it then, huh? Calm down. I'm not going to calm down. And you know why I'm upset? It's because he's, he's sneaking around. He didn't tell me, and he's lying to me. All Damn right. it. Just shush. Okay? I want you to listen to me, and I want you to do exactly what I'm going to tell you. The best thing is to go home, Jen. Stay off your feet. I rode on a motorcycle. Did that cause a miscarriage? It's nothing you did. You were only a few weeks pregnant. It's not uncommon. Make sure she gets plenty of rest. She thinks I'm your husband. Thank God Joe wasn't here if he knew about this. So, what if he did? He didn't even know I was pregnant. Yeah, but you were going to tell him, right? That's what you said. Joe would have been so happy. He wants us to have kids. I never should have rode down Montano Mountain. I, I hit all those bumps. Ken, you, 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 you just heard the doctor. It wasn't your fault. I didn't want to be pregnant. I got what I wished for. It, it doesn't really work that way, okay? Look at Roxy. She didn't want kids. Here I am. Yeah, you're right. I probably would have just screwed the kid up anyway. Jen, you are going to make a great mom someday. You don't believe that any more than I do. You're the one that's always telling me I'm nothing but a party girl. Now? But when you're ready to have kids? Just don't tell Joe, okay? Sure. Whatever. Listen, maybe you should come back to my place. Just till you're feeling better. I want to be with Joe. Oh, look, I'm the DA. If Mr. Gannon has a statement to make, I, I think should I... be here too. As the defendant's attorney, I have a right to know if there's any exculpatory evidence. Look, if I make a statement, you both can read all about it. Right now, I'm talking to Nora, or I walk. You heard him. He wants me dead. That's not gonna happen. Not when the truth comes out. It already has. No matter what Mr. Gannon is saying in there, it won't change a thing. All right, let's get something straight right off. I am not going back to prison. Well, I'm sure that the judge will take your emotional state into consideration. You're grieving over your daughter's death. Antonio had abandoned her. No, no, her. Nora. Listen to me. 
I will not go back to prison. So you work out an immunity deal for me, or I don't say a word. Look, I still think you should go home. The doctor said that it's not a... Joe. Fine. Go get him. All right. Thank you. For everything. Anything else I can do? Just don't forget to not tell Joe about this, okay? He can never know that I lost our baby. I got that. See you around. Hi, guys. Hey. John, hi. Hey, what's going on? Um, Marcy's just saving my sanity. That's what's going on. <laughs> She's helped me get totally organized. You've been doing all day. I finally broke free, but your cell phone was off. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um, everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I've got you. How could everything not be okay? Because for me, too. RJ, I am... Only an assistant district attorney. I can't swing an immunity deal on my own. Then get Colson to do it. I've been reading the papers. He's running against me. Look, that means you're politicians, so you can work it out. Okay, I don't want to see you go to jail any more than I want to see Antonio go to jail. You're both victims here, including Carrie. Look, I did not come here to talk about him. I will do everything I can to make sure that the judge goes easy on you. No immunity, no statement. No wiggle room? Call me when you have a deal. Capricorn's in the book. So what's he up to? Came to set the record straight about how his daughter died. Antonio didn't kill her. It was suicide. So he made a statement? Not yet. Well, uh... What you waiting for? Immunity. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm serious. So am I. Not a chance. Why? Afraid you'll lose the election if you don't have Antonio's head in a platter? Look, Nora, I just want justice served. That's all. Perfect. That works just fine. RJ set Antonio up. He's willing to admit it. Cut him an immunity deal, and we can just stop this whole charade right now, and justice will be served. How, how do we know Vega didn't uh, set him up with something? What, what you going to ask me that with a straight face? Uh, maybe Antonio bought him off. With all of Vega's millions, of course. What is it with you, Daniel? You're just, you're just determined to go in for the kill here, no matter what. Look. Until R.J. decides to testify without immunity, I don't have any choice but to go ahead. What's the matter with you? Do you really like to see people... Suffer? This isn't looking good. You had hope? I did. And I still do. Look, Nora, you want to keep people out of jail, go back in. I'm going to make this work. I don't know how, but I will find a way. Fine. Nora, what's going on? A little minor setback. Sorry, Antonio. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm gonna get you out of this. What's your plan? I... don't know yet. Doesn't have one. Does she need one? RJ just came in and all but admitted that he tampered with evidence against Antonio. He admitted to nothing. Because you wouldn't give him immunity. Right? Right. Is that it? That's the truth? What is the matter with Look, you? Where's that wagon to take him to county? Honey. Oh, honey, don't honey me. You're just upset oh, yeah, about you Walker. Don't I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna say, oh, come on, Blair, he's a nice guy. Go ahead and marry him. No, I'm not. I'm gonna down. tell you you should call off that wedding. Yes, I mean, what else can I say? He lied to you. It's not the first time, and you don't trust him anymore, do you? I wanted to. Well, you don't, okay? And you cannot allow yourself to be married to a man that you don't trust. I wish somebody had said it to me. I could have avoided a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> like you were innocent in all of those situations? Thank you very much. In this case, you are innocent. You didn't do anything wrong except give yourself 100% to Walker. And if he's not prepared to do the same for you, well, then you're better off without him. You know, Dorian, I... I thought it was going to work this time. I thought I'd finally met a man that I could believe in. 
Apparently you didn't. Thank you. I hate it when you're right. And I hate it even more when Kevin Buchanan oh. is right. No, no, no. Do not bring him into this conversation. Don't even mention his name in my house. No, no. And he is the worst. Where are you going? I am going to the sun to work. Honey. No. Uh, Kevin. Hi. I thought you were in Harrisburg. Yeah, I just got back. I just said Kelly would be here. She, she left. left. You all right? Yeah, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, 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 I can tell. What, what's wrong? You having problems with Lawrence, huh? And this is the rest of the surprise. Hey, Darcy. Please? Why don't you take Miss Kramer's stuff upstairs? First door on your right. Are we having a party? Yeah, for Mom. But this is Todd's house. Well, I'm, I'm renting it now. You're living in Todd's house? Mm -hmm. We're all going to be living in Todd's house once my mom and Walker get married. This is very confusing. I... No, no, it's not confusing. I, I love your daughter. I love your grandchildren, and I'm going to take very good care of them. You can take that to the bank. Are you sure we haven't met before? Of course. I would never forget a beautiful face like yours. <laughs> I know who you are. You're Todd. Addie. 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 What makes you think I would be Todd? You are Todd. No, no, he's not, okay? You see, I would know my dad if I would see him one night. What happened to your scar? Well, I don't have one. I'm not Todd. Are you sure? You act like Todd. And you love Blair like Todd. And you live in Todd's house. But that doesn't make me Todd, does it? And you know what, Grandma, you really shouldn't call Walker Todd, especially around my mom. You know, she really misses him, but he's gone. Uh, yeah, and he's... He, he's never coming back. Todd always comes back. No, not this time. Well, you, look, at the, look at this place. Look at the decorations in here. Do you think Todd would do something like this? Look at the piano. Right, and Walker plays the piano, and he's even going to sing for mom. You know how Todd would never be able to do that. I like Todd. Oh, yeah, I know. He liked you, too. How did he know? I met him once. You were one of his favorite people. You know why I like Todd? Because mm, he was a great guy. Because he loved Blair. Then you know what? You're really going to love Walker because he loves Mom, too, even more. I don't think anyone could love Blair more than Todd did. You know what? You're right. But I'm going to try. You know what? Why don't you help me decorate? Okay. Yeah. Could I? Oh, I love parties. Oh. Okay. How did Grandma find out that you were Todd and she's so like... She's able to see things for what they are. Do you think we handled her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. Kevin, what do you want? Uh, Kelly, uh, do you know where she went after this? If you can't keep track of your own wife, how do you expect us to? And while you are looking for her, I'm going to go. Are you going to the airport? Airport? Yeah. Say goodbye to your fiance. I just ran into him. When? I don't know, a couple hours ago. Sweetie, you didn't know. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. He was there. I knew he was there. I, I oh, knew. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought I was stirring up some trouble. That's... Oh, you're not. So feel free to leave any time now. Okay. Oh, uh, you want me to give you a lift to the airport? No, I... I, I, for, I forgot something, actually. Oh, bye, Kevin. I can wait. Oh, I don't think so. Bye. Now.
Oh, give Kelly a hug for me, that is, if you ever find her. Wow. How can that be? How can Walker be in Las Vegas? I've got it. I've got it. He's having his calls forwarded no, no, to his no, cell phone. Me. Susan, he was at the Carlisle Casino. But when, then why would Kevin say that he saw him at the airport? Kevin was lying. That's all. Well, in either case, something very strange is going on. And I'm going to find out what it is. Thank you. Another no. Isn't there any judge that'll help us? I'm still waiting to hear back from Lee and Fitzwater. When? We don't have time. Antonio can't go to county. He's an ex-cop. He put people there. I can handle myself. You shouldn't have to. You're innocent. There he is. I'm out. I'm expecting a call any minute to reinstate Antonio's bail. Uh, no judge is going to do that. Your client crossed county lines. But he came back, didn't he, with a witness that proved that he didn't kill Carrie. Look, we're wasting time. Get him out of here. Can I just have a moment with him? Please? Sure. Listen, you, you won't be there long, okay? And I'll wait for you. I love you. I love you so much. All right, let's go. Get him to county. Antonio shouldn't be the one that goes to prison. You should be. I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Neither did he, and you know it. We're going to get him out. Look, it's time to face the facts. He's guilty, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. trying to get out of the station as fast as I can before I try and kill Daniel Coulson. I didn't say that. Yeah, well, everybody would probably give you a medal if you did. I don't understand how a jerk like that can have a nice son like Riley. Baby switch? <sighs> if only being a lousy father were a criminal offense. I bet you're getting busted on a DUI is. What did you just say? Riley told me. They hauled his dad in on a DUI. And he pled guilty, and then he got his record scrubbed clean. Flash, I'm going to kiss you now. Very hard and very quickly. Thank you. I love you, too. Bye. Oh, photo ID. I've got everything. You have to have it ready. Stop. Dorian, I'm going to go find out what Booker is up to. No, no, no. Wait a second. Listen to me. I, I think it's a real mistake for no, you to go I flying off to Las Vegas. Him right in the act. Why can't it wait? Because it he can't wait. until he... Let him come back. Hey, 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 hey. And where have you been, young lady? Oh, um, I, I was over at Ali's house. Don't lie to me, too, all right? So let's find you. I called Allie's house, and her nanny told me that she has not seen you all day. Well, you know Matilda, the nanny? Uh -huh. How she's really crazy, and she doesn't know anything? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll deal with you later. I've got a plane to catch. Wait, you're going out of town? Yes, I, my plane leaves in, oh, gosh, it leaves less than an I hour. Go. Yes, I've got to go, Star. Listen to Star. Out of the you mouth stay of out of it. I'm going to deal with you later. I have to either. stop. I have to go. I have to go for all of us, all right? It's very, very important. And I'll buy you one of those little white stuffed animal things that you love. Oh, you, you buy her too much stuff. You can't go. I've got to go. I love you. See you later. Bye, bye. Can I get a drink? Well, you could get it yourself, you know. Please? Just for saying please. I'm going to spoil you rotten. Goodness knows your mother does when she's here. And I could use a drink myself. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Dad, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you right now. Mom's leaving town. Call me back. You want to bite in my sandwich? 
toast and salad? Uh, no thanks. Wait, what? No vegetarian jokes? Huh? Yeah, now I know something's definitely wrong with you. No, not me. A, a friend of mine. Is it serious? Yeah, pretty major. I wanted to help her, but I can't. You know, if I didn't know you any better, I would actually think you cared. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing here anyway, huh? Why aren't you rehearsing with the band? Midnight Logic rehearses plenty, okay? Get off my case. Yeah, well, you guys suck the other night. That's not true. You know it's not true. You can always be better. Ultraviolet deserves better. What the hell is wrong with you? Joe's checking out the vestry. He can't believe how much you organized it. I mean, she's always joking about what a disaster it is and everything. Jen, what's wrong? Why? Why would you? Why would you think that anything was wrong? We've been through a lot together. I think I should know by now. I'll be okay. But you're not. Come on, what happened? I just had a miscarriage. Oh my gosh! I didn't even know you were pregnant. Yeah, nobody did. Not even Joe. Oh my God. Why didn't you tell him? I just, I just found out, and then whenever I was going to tell him, I, I was going to, and then I lost the baby. What are you saying? I just wish I'd been more careful when I found out that I was pregnant. That's all. I just... Oh, Jen. Jen, you don't think it's anything that you did, because it's not. Listen, these are the kinds of things they happen all the time. I learned that when I worked for Dr. Conklin. But, I mean, this is twice that it just happened. What if I'm not even able to have kids? It doesn't mean that. You and Joe can try again. You're lucky. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to remind no. you. Listen, everything reminds me of Al. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all this on you like this. No. No, it's okay. But you should be talking to Joe. I can't. You're not going to tell him? I don't want him to feel like this. Oh, but Jen, he'd want to know. But he can't. You can't, Marcy. You've got to promise me that you're not going to say anything. Please. Okay, okay. If it'll make you feel better, I'm not going to say anything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on. That's what friends are for, right? Where's Antonio Vega? He's down in county. Bring him back. I'm giving you orders, Nora? We're going to talk, Daniel. Now. So, what's on your mind? RJ's immunity guarantee. In exchange for his testimony clearing Antonia Vega of murdering Carrie Reynolds, and you are going to sign it. Now, why would I do that? Because of this. Where'd you get this? Helps to have friends down in the county records department. Once you know what you're looking for, of course. How'd you find out? That's not important. What's important is you don't want anyone else to find out. A covered up DUI conviction doesn't look good when you're running for public office. And you just can't wait to tell the voters. If you take Antonio to trial, you bet I will. Or you can sign RJ's immunity agreement. Just put pen to paper, and it'll be May the best candidate win, with no cheap publicity. What's it gonna be, Daniel? You gonna let Antonio go? Or are you gonna let the election go? Okay, well, that's good. I think that's enough. Eddie, 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 that's enough. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Todd? Todd's dead! Um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eddie. I wish... I wish Todd didn't have to die. I do, too. I do, too. But, uh... 
Maybe it's best that way. You know, he did hurt Blair quite a bit, and we don't want to see that happen again, do we? But Blair left him. Well, she loves me now, and I'm going to make her happy. I'm going to make sure of it. Hey, you're late. Where's your mom? Where's Jack? Jack's with Teddy. And Mom's leaving town. I tried what? calling you on your cell phone. Well, why didn't you call me here? Time. I was home. No, whoever he is is landmines anymore. Well, where's... I took a cab over here to tell you that the surprise was Where off. is she going? Las Vegas. She said she was going to get me one Can't of the Can't go to Las Vegas. Time. Right. There goes the surprise. When's her flight leave? She left right before I left. All right. You guys stay here. I'll, I'll, I'll be right Hurry back. Hurry up. I'll be back. Looks like Walker got a surprise, too, doesn't it? Do you know what's going on? I wish I did. Antonio, I can't even sing if I heard what's going on. I... It beats me. I mean, uh, we got there, and they turned around and brought me right back. It was Nora, wasn't it? We can only hope. Carrie was going to leave town with Jamie. I was going to go, too. That's what she said, anyway. I mean, I don't know now. I don't know if she ever meant that. She was acting, you know, she was irrational. I noticed it. We know, everybody noticed it, but I guess I should have done something to help her, couldn't help something. It's okay, Archie. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, but we are talking about the day, because believe me, if I don't hear this with my own Daniel. ears. We were going to leave separately. But I wanted to give her another chance, you know, make sure this was really what she wanted to do. So I went back. And uh, I came up from the rear parking lot. And when I got to the room, the door was open and Renee was inside. And uh, I could tell there was something wrong. And when I, uh, I looked over the balcony, I could see her. I, there was no hope. I knew that. But I took off running. I uh, just ran, went down the stairs and uh, out the door, I guess, and ran into the courtyard. She was so still. I remember her skin was cool. There was no life left. And that's when I saw the letter. The one addressed to you? Yeah, one to me and... another one to Antonio Vega. What letter? I, I get a copy of one letter. What the hell is this about another letter? Look, do you want to hear this? Yeah. So I don't know how to tell you. I don't know. I saw the letter to Vega, and it was very clear to me. My daughter was gone. I would never come back because of Antonio Vega. The way he dogged her, he deserted her. He threw my daughter away like she's so much trash. I could get him. I can make him pay. I can make him own up. I saw that gold cross you've been wearing around. It was laying there in front of me. I knew. I know if I could just take the cross and put it in Carrie's hand and don't let anybody see the letters. Just let some ambitious prosecutor and Landview's joy of judgment do the rest and it worked but it didn't bring her back
bail's being reinstated until a judge can hear the case. But I think it's probably safe to say that the charges are going to be dropped. Antonio, you're free to go. Oh, God. Nice work, Counselor. Oh. What happened? Oh, I think, um... Colson just sort of saw the light. Thank you. I'm glad to do it. Very glad. I told you, didn't I? It's finally over. I want to thank you, too, RJ. I thought about destroying this, but I couldn't do it. What is it? I found two letters on Carrie. One was addressed to me. The other one's for you. the next one life to live. Please, RJ, stop this war. Christian, you and Natalie can get married now. You go along with everything I say, or you will be sorry. Marcy. It all started when Alexis married Blake and had two kids, Stephen and Fallon. Oh, wait, there was also Adam, who was kidnapped at birth. Then later, Amanda makes herself known. See, when Alexis left Blake, she was pregnant. Amanda was raised by the nanny, not the one from Flushing, the one who's with the professor. Get the full story on Dynasty weekdays at 4.